Hey everyone, thank you for watching. In today's video I'm so excited to do, I'm gonna be de-influencing you. I think that's a weird term. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about makeup I hate that everybody else loves. This has been a popular topic in the YouTube beauty community for many years. I've done many videos like this, but I'm gonna be running through some makeup products that have received really good reviews online. A lot of people seem to love these, but for whatever reason, they just do not work out for me. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. So I do like to start my videos with an outfit of the day. I'm in one of my golf outfits. Not that I'm golfing. I'm just sitting here filming videos, pre-filming because I have a trip coming up. But my skort and my tank top are just both from Amazon. My dog is laying on her bench in front of me. She wanted to watch out the window. We got a lot of birds out there today. So she is keeping watch over my window, which is why she is not behind me. But I will link my outfit and also any of my makeup in my description box. A lot of what I have on today is from my last trying new makeup video, so you can always check that one out. Or if you are a member on my channel, this is April's members exclusive video where I did a chatty get ready with me and answered some of your questions. So make sure to check the community tab because that video will be going up. And I did also create a Geneva group chat for my members as well. So we can also chat over there in case you missed the community tab messages because I always miss community tab messages. And I can also let you know when videos are going up, dates of live chats, and so on. So you can always check out my memberships over here if you are interested. But I've been seeing the term de-influencing pop up on like TikTok, and I have to say, I don't really get it. Um, when I started watching the videos, it was mostly people saying like, these products are really hyped about, but I don't think they're good. So of course, my YouTuber since 2015 brain was like, that's makeup I hate that everybody else loves. Like, you know, I've done many of these videos. I've also done the flip side makeup I love that everybody else hates and that sort of thing. Um, but I also, like, the de-influencing term was kind of weird to me because even if you're telling someone, like, these products aren't good, that's still influencing. <laughs> so I was like, what? So we're just going to stick with saying this is makeup I hate that everybody else loves, highly rated products that I just don't love. For a lot of these, I mean, honestly, makeup to me is not that serious, so there's nothing that I go to bed at night thinking how much I absolutely hate or anything like that, but these are just products that did not work out for me. And one of them, I tried this mascara a while ago, and then all of a sudden, like truly, I feel like a year ago, and then I started seeing it pop up, especially on TikTok. A lot of people are raving about it and like putting it, you know, putting it on their, their lashes are looking great, and I'm like, what? And so actually the brand reached out and was like, hey, our mascara is going viral. We want to send it to you again. Like, did I was like, sure, like I'll try it again. Like, did I miss something? Is it me? Is it my lashes? I don't know what's going on. So ColourPop sent over their Level Up Lengthening Mascara. So I got to trying it again. And I'm like, I don't, I'm not, I'm not getting it. I never really thought of myself as a mascara snob. But I think maybe I am. I'm just pretty particular when it comes to my mascaras. I know what I like. I like if, if I do wear tests and I find what wears well and works for me and doesn't transfer and all of those things, like I stick with those mascaras. I have purchased probably like 12 of the Rare Beauty mascaras. I've purchased like seven of the Lawless Beauty. I've already been repurchasing the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift, which is not what I'm wearing today. So I don't know why I'm gesturing to my eyes. I'm just usually wearing the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. But the ColourPop level up lengthening mascara it's one of those that like to me it's fine but it doesn't do much of anything to my lashes like it gives them a like a little bit of length but like just, it's one of those mascaras that i can put it on and be like did i put mascara on like i'm not really sure that i did and i don't think that it has the best wear time to it like i get transferred like pretty quickly when i wear this one i just don't see my lashes don't look like the lashes i mean also, I'll say, a lot of the mascara reviews that I see going viral, whether it be on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube shorts now, the girls have phenomenal lashes already. I mean, I know girls with phenomenal lashes and they can wear any mascara and their lashes look great. That's their lashes. So when I'm seeing girls with natural lashes up to their eyelashes putting a mascara on and obviously now their lashes are like darker or whatever, more defined, people are like, I need your mascara. I'm like, no, you need their lashes. <laughs> like, I don't, like I just got normal little baby lashes that need a lot of help. So something like this, like, it's 
it's not doing it for me. Next one is a little bit of an older product, but I still see it again, like all over my For You page. It's always popping up on like my Instagram. I don't know if it's called the Explore page anymore, but whatever that page is. And it's always like my like natural girlies, like especially like the lifestyle girls that I follow. They're always doing like their no makeup makeup routines. And they're always wearing the Merit like cream bronzer stick. I can put a photo of it because I have decluttered it from my collection. I was really excited. Merit sent this to me in PR and I was like, yes, like I love bronzers. I love me a good cream bronzer. And I do love no makeup makeup days. I, I don't wear a lot of makeup in general. Like today I have on concealer and powder. Um, I just have a few eyeshadows, eyeshadows on, um, just some mascara. I don't wear false lashes a lot. I don't like do a lot of contouring and like carving out my eyebrows like the 2016 days like I just do a pretty quick makeup routine and I'm out the door. So I was like I think I'm really going to get on with this Merit bronzer but to me you can barely see it and when I, like even if I load it on and load it on and load it on the minute that I start blending it out it's just like blending into nothing in my skin. Again. I like a natural moment. I like a no makeup makeup look, but like I need to look like I'm wearing bronzer. It's my favorite step when it comes to makeup besides like probably my lips. Like I love bronzer. I need more. So I want it so badly for that Merit bronzer to work out for me, but I just, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Another product, I ended up buying this because so many people were hyping it up. I remember actually going into my Sephora and I don't like to leave my apartment a lot. I went to my Sephora because I was so determined to get my hands on their Maracuja Lip Plump lipsticks. Again, I will have a photo in here because I ended up decluttering mine. I mean, this was being hyped up everywhere. And, 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 you know, of course, even people that I love and follow and trust, they were like, I love this one. And I was like, yes, but everyone is different. Everyone has different makeup preferences. It's not that serious. Uh, but I went out and I bought the Maracuja lip plump thing and I just, I don't know if it was one of those products that was so hyped up that I was expecting it to change my life. Like I was expecting it to put my sheets that have been in the washer for eight hours now into the dryer. I, like I'm still waiting for somebody to do that for me and I just like I thought this lip product was gonna do it for me and it just it, it wasn't so I was like very disheartened when it came to that but like it was pretty I didn't lose my mind over it and it wasn't one of those you know I have a larger makeup collection I buy makeup I get makeup in PR to try when I sit down to do my makeup, I gravitate towards products, whether they be new, whether they be old, but I gravitate towards products and I notice what I am picking up. I notice what I am pulling out of drawers and I was just not reaching for that one. And to me, it's like, that's a pretty like done deal of this is not a favorite of yours. This is not something that you're going to be reaching for. Not that I want to say it was a waste of money. I passed it on to a friend. So like, that's great. But I was sad I didn't love it more because I wanted to be a part of that hype train. I was not. Another lip product is actually what I am wearing today. I just finished filming a speed reviews for all of the makeup that I have been testing out in 2023. I already have ranking all of my eyeshadow palettes up. By the time this one goes up, um, I should also have all of those speed reviews up. I am going to Charleston, South Carolina for my first influencer retreat that I've been planning with my friend Simbri. So I'm trying to get some, you know, as much filming done as I can so I can be prepared when I am gone for five nights, six nights, I'm gone for a while. So I'm um, not exactly sure the order of my videos and all those good things, but speed reviews will be coming. And I had this in my last trying new makeup. So I purchased the NYX Fat Oil Lip Drip because so many people have been talking about this. I mean, I've been seeing it in my comments. I've been seeing it again, like on For You pages and Explore pages. And I'm like, okay, I love me a lip oil. And you know, from NYX, it's a little bit more affordable. I got mine off Amazon. I have the, the shade Newsfeed. I am wearing it today with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Taupe Lip Liner. I think it's really like a shade thing. And like what I said in my speed reviews is that there wasn't a lot of shades that was jumping out to me. And I kind of wish this was more of like just a basic, I'm such a nude lover. I just did a video swatching all of my lipsticks, all of my nude lipsticks in my collection, which ended up being all of my lipsticks in my collection. And I think that this is nude, but like, I just, I don't love the shade as much. And once again, I thought this would be one that I would just keep reaching for because I wear lip oils all the time. I love me a good lip oil. 
still my number one lip oil is Sigma Beauty. Even when I had just purchased this and I was like, you have to be reviewing it, make sure you're trying the NYX and I'd have it out on my desk, I still was like, mm, I'm gonna reach for my Sigma Beauty. My favorite shade is in tint. So I'm super disappointed because I feel like this is getting such high reviews and again, it's fine. Like I'll wear it and it's like, it's pretty and it wasn't super expensive, but like, I don't love it. The next product that I have, I've also decluttered this one. This is from Ilia Beauty and it is their like serum foundation. Again, I have, have the photo in here. This is another one that I see from a lot of my like natural, no makeup, no makeup girlies. They love, it's like everyone has the same routine, you know, which is like pretty standard these days. But like everyone's using their Ilia serum and then following it with the Mary Beauty bronzer. There's usually like a brow gel situation happening, the tart lips. I mean, I'm like, this was one that I bought because I was super excited about it. And I do like the Ilia Beauty brand. A lot of products that I try from them, I really do enjoy, including their C Beyond Triple Serum with SPF 40. I love this product. I think that this is great. Their serum foundation, I thought was so tricky to wear, apply. I thought it made my face look like dry, matte, and old. I, I don't know how else to describe it. Like it did, it did no benefits for my skin. I do have more dry skin, but again, I, I feel like I hear people from all different skin types raving about that one and it's so natural looking. And I'm like, that was not natural looking on me. Again, the, the dry, old, and matte. That's not what I want in my life. So I declared that one from Ilia Beauty, but I always see people hyping that one up. Two more products that I can de-influence you, influence you into not buying. Okay, one is It Cosmetics and their CC Cream. This is one of the most hyped up, like, holy grail products from YouTube days that I just never could get on with. I've tried their original. They came out with one either last year or two years ago, and it was like their CC Glow cream or something along those lines and it was supposed to be more of like a dewy finish which because i have dry skin i kind of gravitate more towards dewy products i thought that i would love that one again like some of these products just make me look older and i am 36 like i don't i'm not trying to age myself over here okay and i just felt like with both the original and the glow it just looks heavy on my skin. It makes me look even more dry. And then it just, to me, it makes my skin look older. And I just don't like these. I will say though, again, I have like a new product that I've been absolutely loving from the brand. Their Bye Bye Dark Spots Concealer and Serum. This is beautiful. I just reviewed this in my speed reviews and just like raved about it. I have it on today. I think that it's absolutely gorgeous. But there's, and I was a little bit, skeptical like I, I knew I was gonna try it I received it in PR I like to test concealers I was like let's give it a shot but I kind of went into it thinking I'm probably not gonna love this just because it cosmetics doesn't have a lot of standout products to me I don't have a lot of holy grails from the brand and because I like so intensely dislike their CC cream I just was like mm, I don't know but I love this one I would try this one versus the CC cream. And then the last one that I have is from Tower 28. I'm just not a huge fan of their lip glosses. And I've I, like, I tried them a while ago and I was like, mm, okay. And then they were being raved about and so hyped up. And I got some more NPR from the brand. I was like, let me try them again. And I still was like, again, they're fine. Like I don't hate them. I don't wish ill will on these lip glosses. I just don't find them to be a standout. And there's other glosses that I prefer, lip oils I prefer, lipsticks I prefer. I just tend to not love their lip glosses. And I feel, again, like I feel, feel like I'm not a part of the in crowd. This whole video has made me feel like I'm not a part of the in crowd. But once again, if you're looking for a good product from Tower 28, they just came out with their Sculptino products, their contour and bronzers. I have the shade Broad and I think that it's beautiful. Wearing it today, spoke very highly of it in my speed reviews. I think it's great. I would definitely recommend this cream product over their glosses. I just don't love them. So those are all of the products that I have to share about today. Makeup that I hate, that it seems like everybody else loves. I would love to know what do you dislike that you feel like everyone else loves, even me. Even me, like what is something that I've recommended that you're like, girl, that did not work out for me. That is what I wanna know in the comments. And if you wanna see a flip side video of this one, makeup, I love that everybody hates. Please do let me know in the comments. As always, if you enjoyed this one, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next one.